I'm meteorologist Todd Claus. I want to kind of recap tornado and thunderstorm warning since we had that tornado that touched down in southeast Marion County without a tornado warning getting issued. That is not completely uncommon. Happens all the time across the country. A thunderstorm warning will be issued for winds over 58 miles per hour. We did have that already. That's why a thunderstorm warning was in effect. We did not have a tornado warning in effect because the rotation was not picked up on radar, nor was a tornado reported to the public. So with a storm system that rotates, you have a south wind at the service, the wind is going to change direction with height and the wind speed also increases and that's what we call wind shear. So I went back to 847 when that tornado touched down in the southern you know, southeastern portion of the county. Inside this circle is the intersection where that tornado touched down. But as I expand out, you notice the best shear was actually to the southeast of the storm that produced a tornado. So we go from wind shear over to radar and you can see that that storm was pretty strong as it went through. Uh, but here's what the National Weather Service was talking about with this brief spin up. We had this first storm that went through and then this second line of severe thunderstorm activity made its way right behind that initial line. The two interacted, probably resulting in that brief spin up. It was not long lived and that's why the rotation was not picked up on radar. The tornado sirens did not go off because a tornado warning was not issued. However, again, it's important to remember even when severe thunderstorm uh, warnings are are issued. Some thunderstorms do produce a brief tornado. That's what happened on the scale. It was an EF1 that touched down there in Marion County. It was around 90 mile per hour winds. That made it a weak EF1 tornado. But again, as we continue through the rest of the summer, we will see more thunderstorms. When thunderstorm warnings are issued, you need to take them serious because as we saw this weekend, it is possible for thunderstorms to produce brief isolated tornadoes without tornado warnings in effect.